हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ज्योग्राफी क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सेवन हाउ सीजन अक पार्ट टू महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड ऑब्जेक्टिव पॉइंट नंबर वन टू लर्न अबाउट अपेरेंट मूवमेंट ऑफ द सन पॉइंट नंबर टू टू अंडरस्टैंड द एपीहेलियन एंड पेरीहेलियन पोजिशन ऑफ द अर्थ पॉइंट नंबर थ्री टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ सीजन अकर्स ऑन डिफरेंट लेटिट्यूड that is tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn antarctic circle and arctic circle point number 4 to know about equinox summer solstice and winter solstice in detail apparent movement of the sun the movement of the sun towards the north or south in a year is called the apparent movement of the sun the position of the rising sun keeps on moving towards the south in the period from 21st june to 22nd december this period is called dakshayan the position of the rising sun keeps on moving towards the north in the period from 22nd december to 21st june this period is called uttrayan let us understand apparent movement of the sun with the help of the following diagram as we all know that sun never moves it is earth which rotates and revolves around the sun so from 21st june to 22nd december when the earth rotates and revolves around the sun it seems as if sun moves toward the south direction and that period is called dakshayan and from 22nd december to 21st june when the earth rotates and revolves around the sun it seems as if sun moves towards the north direction and that period is called uttrayan perihelion and aphelion position of the earth the path of the revolution of the earth around the sun is elliptical perihelion means minimum distance from the sun aphelion means maximum distance from the sun Aphelion position of the earth in the first week of july the earth is at the farthest point from the sun in this position the northern end of the x is toward the sun perihelion position of the earth in the first week of january the earth is at the minimum distance from the sun in this position the southern end of the x is towards the sun now in this diagram we can see both aphelion position and perihelion position of the earth the earth is in aphelion position during the first week of july it is 152.1 million kilometer away from the sun and northern end of the x is facing the sun the earth is in perihelion position during the first week of january it is 147.1 million kilometer away from the sun and southern end of the x is facing the sun now we are going to know in which months spring season summer season autumn season and winter season prevail but first let's see how season occur on different latitude children in your lower classes you have learned about equator equator is the main latitude on the planet earth we divide the earth into two hemisphere northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere in northern hemisphere the another important latitude is tropic of cancer which is on 23 Point five degree, and Arctic Circle, which is on sixty six point five degree. In Southern Hemisphere, the main the main latitude is Tropic of Capricorn, which is on twenty three point five degree, and Antarctic Circle, which is on sixty six point five degree. solstice and equinox equinox 
Equinox is Latin for equal night. Equinox. As the earth revolves around the sun, the equator receives perpendicular rays on two days. On these days, both the poles are at the same distance from the sun. This condition occurs on 21st March and 23rd September. The circle of illumination divides all the parallels from the North Pole to the South Pole equally. Everywhere on earth, night time and day time are of equal duration. That is 12 hours day and 12 hours night. In this diagram, it is more clear about the spring or vernal equinox. In the northern hemisphere, spring prevails from 21st March to 21st June. So in the northern hemisphere, 21st March is called spring or vernal equinox. Let us see the spring pictures. In spring, the weather is sunny and cool. Now with the help of this diagram, we will try to understand autumnal equinox. In the northern hemisphere, autumn prevails from 23rd September to 22nd December. So in the northern hemisphere, 23rd September is called autumnal equinox. These are the pictures of autumn. In autumn, the weather is foggy, windy and rainy. In this diagram, it is more clear that equinox take place twice in a year, that is 21st March and 23rd September. Spring equinox starts from 21st March to 21st June in Northern Hemisphere. Autumn equinox starts from 23rd September to 22nd December in Northern Hemisphere. Now let us proceed with solistic. Solistic. On 21st June, the sun rays become perpendicular on the Tropic of Cancer. Summer solistic. On 22nd December, the sun rays become perpendicular on the Tropic of Capricorn. Winter solistic. These two days are called solistic day. 21st June is the largest day and it marks the shortest night in the northern hemisphere. 22nd December is the longest day and it marks the shortest night in the southern hemisphere. Now, with the help of this diagram, the concept of summer solistic and winter solistic will be more clear. Now, on 21st June, we can see that perpendicular rays of the sun is falling on Tropic of Cancer, which is in Northern Hemisphere. So, Northern Hemisphere will experience summer solistic from 21st June to 23rd September. At the same time, Southern Hemisphere will experience winter solistic from 21st June to 23rd September. Now, on 22nd December, we can see that perpendicular rays of the sun is falling on Tropic of Capricorn, which is in Southern Hemisphere. Now, Southern Hemisphere will experience summer solstice from 22nd December to 21st March. At the same time, Northern Hemisphere will experience winter solistic from 22nd December to 21st March. These are some pictures of summer. In summer, the weather is hot, warm and dry. These are also some pictures of winter. In winter, the weather is cold, freezing cold and snowy polar region. Children, all of us know that there are two poles, North Pole and South Pole. North Pole, we have Arctic Circle. South Pole, we have Antarctic Circle. At the North Pole, Arctic Circle, the sun is visible in the sky from 22nd March to 23rd September for six months. 
At the South Pole and Antarctic Circle, the sun is not visible in the sky from 22nd March to 23rd September for 6 months. At the South Pole, Antarctic Circle, the sun is visible in the sky from 23rd September to 21st March for 6 months. At the North Pole, Arctic Circle, the sun is not visible in the sky from 23rd September to 21st March for 6 months. The occurrence of season one after the other in a year leads to the cycle of season. Now, with the help of this diagram, let us know the season in Northern Hemisphere as well as in Southern Hemisphere. In Northern Hemisphere, Spring Equinox prevails from 21st March to 21st June. Summer Solistic prevails from 21st June to 23rd September. Autumn Equinox prevails from 23rd September to 22nd December. Winter solistic prevails from 22nd December to 21st March. In Southern Hemisphere, Spring Equinox prevails from 23rd September to 22nd December. Summer solistic prevails from 22nd December to 21st March. Autumn Equinox prevails from 21st March to 21st June. Winter solistic prevails from 21st June to 23rd September. Now let us know some facts. The equatorial region does not experience any change of season. In places beyond the equatorial region, in either northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere, summer or winter are experienced one after the other within a year. India experiences four seasons, summer, rainy, retreating monsoon and winter. Europe and North America also experiences four seasons, summer, autumn, winter and spring. The cycle of season and living world. Let's see how the cycle of season and the living world is correlated. If the earth axis were not tilted, the season would have not occurred. It is the tilt of the axe that leads to occurrence of season, change and diversity on the earth. The living world on the earth is affected by the cycle of season. In the Antarctic region, at the northernmost part of the earth, birds like penguin, fish like seal, animal like walruses are found. In the Arctic region, at the northernmost part of the earth, animals like reindeer, polar bears, arctic foxes are found. People living in this region too have adapted to the natural condition prevailing in that region. Antarctic region and Arctic region pictures are there. Let us know about migration of birds and animals. During extreme cold climatic condition, when the food supply becomes scarce, a number of birds and animals migrate. Arctic Tern Once the winter at the North Pole becomes severe, the bird travels southward. When it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it flies back towards the North Pole. It has to travel in search of food. It travels around 7 lakh kilometer. It experiences summer twice in a year. Siberian crane. Due to severe winter and lack of food, cranes from the cold northern region visit India traveling around 8 to 10,000 kilometers. Once summers start in India, they migrate back to the north. Thank you.